Toxicity always takes two. So there's this trend where everybody's talking about getting rid of toxic people and toxic relationships. And I always ask myself, like, if everybody's saying that everybody else is toxic, like, how come the non-toxic people aren't coming together? Like, is everybody toxic and everybody calling everybody else toxic? But I think what it is, is that we're talking about dynamics. So there's toxic dynamics, meaning one or both parties does not want to participate in the dynamic anymore. And I think that should be the new working definition. Like everybody's not toxic. There's just some people that you vibe with and some people that you don't and you want to move away from. And if you've been participating in a toxic dynamic, just know that you were an active participant. Like otherwise the situation couldn't have taken place. One good example is when people talk about love bombing. So in order for you to have been love bombed, it means that you had to get past the stage where it was fun, right? Because if somebody's just treating you really well and you let that be the end of it and you left at the first sign of a red flag, then it wouldn't feel like love bombing. It would feel like you were dating someone and things just didn't work out. It only becomes toxic when the person's behavior changes and you continue to try to get that dynamic to be something that it's not and you get frustrated. So in that example, we should probably start normalizing, like leaving as soon as love bombing is done and people start to show their true colors. And then love bombing would not be so harmful. In order for it to become harmful, you have to be an active participant in continuing the toxic dynamic. Another example is when we say like a friend is toxic because they do this certain thing every time we're together. Well, in order for that toxicity to continue, you have to participate. But if you were to set a boundary and stick to that boundary, then you're not in a toxic dynamic. You're upholding your own boundaries and therefore creating spaces where you're enjoying the dynamic at all times. So I said all that to say, next time you think you're in a toxic situation, Examine the part that you played in that dynamic so that you don't carry that same behavior into another situation. That's how you maintain your personal power and stop calling people toxic. Just say, I don't want to participate in this dynamic. I'm going to set new boundaries and create new standards or new experiences for myself. Doing it this way means that you maximize your opportunity to become better as a result of your connections with others and not just bitter.